Uh, weights of pleasure, Sue, with Ed and Cy. We're here to rock and roll your worlds, dude, and uh, literally uh, ejaculate all over your face with uh, information. <laughs> I do. I get you there. I was like, that's a little vulgar, dude. Yeah, I was like, well, I don't know. You're thinking sexual. Well, what the hell? I'm what do you usually I'm, say? No, I'm talking <laughs> mental ejaculation. Oh, wow. Yeah, to really get people <laughs> off, to get them laughing. Dude, got it. Right? <laughs> well, uh, what is it? Is this episode five? This is episode five, I think, man. This is episode five. Uh, big shout out to uh, our producer, Gary. Oh, yeah, man. It all happened. Oh yeah, he's eating his ice cream right now, looking at me. What kind of sure ice cream better. does he like, man? Uh, anything and everything. We usually we just get a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, man. I you like know, to keep, keep it simple it, with the ice cream. Keep it simple, man. Yeah. My sister, my sister last week got some. Uh, it's called Cookie Monster from Leatherbees, bro. It's so damn good. You guys have oh a leather. Leatherbees is still open. Yeah, right here, right down the street. Oh, dude, the, my, heart, the, my, my heart. Dude, I literally do. My heart skipped a beat. Like you remember on. <laughs> Next Friday, which uh-huh. is like, oh, you don't, you don't know Big D, you don't know Baby D. Like that's how I feel right now. She got all the bootleg snacks, all the, all the cupcakes. Yeah, <laughs> you laughing, Craig? You laughing? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Glitter jump out of your face. Yeah. <laughs> Day Day, dude, he was still the yes, best. Yeah, man. That's, that's how I feel. You said leather bees. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, it's been open for a minute now. Um, I tell the boys they probably should get a job over there too, you know. Oh. But yeah, they're like, dude, dad, we're gonna eat ice cream all day long. They're, you know, not trying like to... like a lot of churchy people go to Leatherby's uh, because it's so churchy people tip well. Yeah, it's always packed over here, man. It's crazy. They uh, the I think the the founder just died not that long ago. Mister, is his name Mister Leatherby? I think so. Might be, <laughs> it might be. I don't know, but I, I want to say that the first one opened up at the hub. Is it Epstein Leatherby? <laughs> that guy I keep seeing all these memes with, with uh, Clinton's face on it dude saying no I don't know him but yet you've been to his island like a thousand times dude, that's when the worst of pleasure gets the best of you and you gotta step off dude you gotta step off the pleasure button when you, like, okay so there's like video it's like allegedly of him allegedly eating children dude. like there's cannibals there are you the, kidding me? Dude, this dude, oh man, the dark web is e- the dark web is going crazy over it. The 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 Q, the anonymous, the um, what do you call it? Uh, a, you, a chan, you ever look at A chan? Yeah. Oh, dude, all their web sites are going crazy over it. And the actually the person who posted it was uh-huh. the woman who is his fixer, and like apparently she's probably going to get killed by Clinton, of course. So this lady posted it on Instagram, like the video, uh-huh. or it was like either them or an, an, either her or anonymous. Wow, it's getting crazy. It, it is getting crazy. Like just more and more stuff's coming out. I haven't even like you know dove into it to really even check it out, but and, I just keep and, seeing uh, these little things. It looks crazy. Apparently, like Trump knew him, but like, there's mm-hmm. video of him like in 2002 or three being like, I don't like him. Like Trump, like doesn't like like, and this is a long video. This is a long oh, video. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, yeah, you so know, like, Trump, Trump, you know, he whatever. He's a womanizer, but you know, I, hopefully, he knows his boundaries. Oh, you mean you, you mean he has testicles? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. He's not. I don't want to go play with little kids. Dude. That's just sad and disgusting. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, everybody involved gets a death penalty. I mean, even the stewardesses on the airplane, anybody involved, dude. If the people held their bags, man, give them the death penalty. I'm, it's I'm, cr- because everybody knew it. Yeah, everybody knew what was going on on that plane, man. Yeah, I mean, it's sick. It's a sick uh, world. And that's what, bro, you're lucky the boys are older now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's off your plate. You guys did it. I got, I, got a, I got a while to worry about my girls, man. Oh, big time, man. They're big time. There was uh, somebody just posted uh, today on Facebook at, at the, the Walmart at um, in Fremont. This guy was, like, walking down the camping aisle, and this lady was with, like, it was with her and a friend and like six of their like underage girls, right? And they're all in the camping section. And this guy kept staring at him, and, she, and she, finally she's like, was "What are you staring at?" Yeah. <laughs> 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 but they, oh my gosh! But they, yeah, that fool just pops out of nowhere sometimes. But yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he, uh, uh, anyway, so this guy started just taking pictures of him. First, he was trying to hide it, and then he was just like following him around, taking pictures on his cell phone, what? and then like, se- and then sending the pictures to another friend that was around the corner on, oh, the, and, on a different, on a different aisle. Okay, 
Yeah, speaking of, okay, keep on, keep going. Tell me. Anyway, it was just crazy. Story. But these guys, they have no. They're, it's just they're getting more and more like just. Just like, you know, they don't care. They don't care who sees them. They don't care what's going on. They're ready to, you know, kidnap these girls. And, you know, there they go to sex tra- trafficking again, you know? It's just sad. It's just a crazy, scary world, man. I, I'm working out at the gym, okay? Because mm-hmm. this is, you know, it's a, it's a gym show. It's a weight. And yeah. there's a, she, she's got to be 16 or 17 year old girl working out, dude. Mm-hmm. Okay? And, like, I see this dude on the other side of, like, the area. And, like, he's kind of, like, staying parallel with her. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, like, the dude kind of looks like, um, imagine, like, George Lopez. Okay. Or, I he, hate he that like guy. George Lopez, okay? I, but, like, skinny I, and, like, weird, like, tattoo on his leg. Like, like a, a weird, like, rainbowish tattoo. It wasn't a rainbow, uh-huh. but it was uh-huh. a colorful, but like, weird tattoo. And, like, imagine, like, just as like, his hair's, like, slicked back like Beavis and Butthead. I'm trying to give you a picture. Okay? Yeah, I can picture him. All right. So, like, he's, like, fuck, walking, like, parallel to her. Like, what uh-huh. is he doing? I couldn't, like, figure out. Dude, he was staring up her soccer shorts, dude. Are you serious? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You know, you know, today? Like, today at the gym? Is, this is this is, this is is yesterday. Oh, dude. yesterday? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, disgusting, dude. You should have socked him, dude. dude. You should have just, you you know, just hit him with a okay, weight. Okay, so that goes to, like, a problem. Have you ever, you've been kicked out of a gym before? Like, permanently? Uh, have you ever been permanently kicked out of a gym? Because I, I I have been kicked out of so many gyms that my number one fear in life is getting kicked out of the gym. But if I wasn't so afraid to be kicked out of my gym, I would have literally laid the dude out. When the hell have you been kicked out of your gym? Bro, okay, it's like a lot, man. Really? I've never yeah. been kicked out of the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe because I keep to myself and I don't pay no mind yeah. to nobody. And, and besides always, besides Planet honestly, Fitness. Honestly, you know, I would love to tell some fabricated story or something, <laughs> but it's always like the dumbest thing. Like one time, like a 24-hour novelist, before it was fitness, when it was 24-hour uh-huh. novelist, <laughs> this, like I'm doing this exercise. You know how you hold the, the rope uh, tricep machine down and you can do your abs with it? Yes, I was doing that right. Uh huh. And some little, uh, some little Filipino girl comes up to me. I had to tell you the race. I'm a very racial person, dude. So some <laughs> little Filipino like girl comes up to me. She's like, like our manager from corporate is here. You can't do that right now. Oh wow! And so I was like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm 45 minutes into my pre workout. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> relax, dude. Like, you know me, dude. I work at a cannabis club. I have money. Like, you know how I was back in the day, dude. Like, just a little asshole myself. Where was this at? In this Oakland? Was at, this was at the Double Decker 24 hour Nautilus in Fremont. Oh, in Fremont. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, the yeah. Irvington one? The one yeah, in Irvington? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah okay. The slums. The slums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The slums of 24. Yeah. So, I was, I was at the slums of 24 hitting it, man. You know? Uh-huh. And she comes up to me like that, and I'm, I'm I, I was just caught off guard. And I'm like, "What are you talking about? Like, I'm doing what I want, you know? Fat at it, you know? Fat people are bad. Yeah, I should have yeah. just, I should have just. It was it, like looking back, it was totally my fault. They never ever asked me for something, but then the manager came up, right? And he was, he was that like, you remember that dude? Uh, his name was Bobby. Do you remember him? And he was like, he was like a bitch tit Afghan. Oh, I think so. <laughs> I was thinking, I, I was picturing one of his other old school dudes with long hair. He kind of reminded me of Macho Man. Well, you know, by na- <laughs> by by nature, like Fremont, I mean, by Iranians and Afghans, dude, we don't ever get along. Mm-hmm. You know, so already I'm like, dude, you're like my peasant in my head. You know. <laughs> <laughs> No offense to my Afghan <laughs> listeners, dude. I, mean, I don't feel like that, really. But yeah. it's just, you know, in my head, it was like DNA, like popping off, dude. You know? <laughs> and then I said something to him, dude, and I, I can't remember what it was, but it, was a pro- it probably wasn't nice. Yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. Yeah, you yeah, used to get you know, a little crazy I, I would, back uh, in the day. Yeah, I just hopped in my S500, you know, put my oh, 24 yeah. inch python out the window. Oh, know? yeah. I remember it. Off with joy in my mouth. Well, now that I'm thinking about back in the day, I was like, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that you wouldn't get kicked out of the gym, dude. Right. right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like, now it don't surprise me. But with this one, though, man, you wouldn't have been, you know, I guess without evidence, you know, they'd be like, why did this guy just come out here and punch me? Because, you know, he could have just denied, denied, and then, well, then, you're, then you're getting kicked out. But then, unless other people saw. And then, and then when I think about then, does she have to wear short shorts, dude, at the same time? Like, they're pretty short, dude. Like, yeah. and like, she's leaving herself, like, it's like spread eagle pretty much. Yeah. You know? And it's like, ugh. It's awful. I don't know. It's awful, it, it, dude. It is. Any way you slice it, it's awful because I'm not losing 
my gym membership. I don't want to walk around the gym being uncomfortable. That makes me uncomfortable, dude. Yeah. No, that's crazy, man. That's yeah. dirty. Yeah, it's, that's it's like dirt. it's it's something that men who are who date within their age period like it, it makes their blood boil right and it's yeah. like not a good boil it's like a boil where you can't focus where you live like you said like why didn't you a bunch of dude in the face yeah it's right just, yeah because there's not there's not much that angers me I mean, i'm pretty much pretty mellow where i can you know nothing's gonna bother me people can call me names and say whatever and it's, i don't i don't i don't care right. you know what i mean but but seeing somebody like that but then again like you said you know i don't want to say you know, oh, she had it coming to her because that's what she's wearing, you know, but it's still not right. You know, it's like that that would just make me my like you said, my, my skin boil and just at least say something to the dude. Right. I don't know. Well, I, I was like, I didn't want to. But I, I also didn't want to say anything to her either because I didn't want to hurt make her uncomfortable, make her think that, like, you know, she yeah. has to change who she is because that's what makes her comfortable. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I mean, right. She shouldn't have to ever change for that guy. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? If that's what makes her comfortable, then like. Like she's allowed to do that, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. But to like have an, have an older man like be like a predator and like hovering, like followy, and like it's yeah, it, it's wrong. It's wrong. That like I said, that's what happened to those people in Walmart the other day, man. These guys are and they they don't care. They just follow, 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 and they literally follow them all the way out the store until they finally got Walmart security to to stop them and talk to them. But they're yeah, like, I mean, wow. Why, why we need to deport these guys? Yeah. Even if they're even if they're like legal, like we need to figure out how to deport them. Yeah, we should just castrate them and then deport them. Dude. I'm down for castration. Right. Oh, Me I'm too. Sure. I'm down for castration. Me too. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. I think that's the most evil, vile thing you can do, man. You know what I mean? These yeah. young kids, these poor people, you ruin people's lives, yeah. man. It's like, I mean, oh hell yeah, I'm down you, for that. You know, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking now with this. Just Jeffrey Epstein thing. There's going to be a blowback, dude. And there's going to be a lot more people, dude, who are like us, who are like, you know what, dude? We're tired of this shit, dude. Mm-hmm. We're tired of you guys, dude, pushing your your nasty culture on us, dude. We had a line, dude. Yeah. That line was. I mean, for me, after gay marriage, that was my line, dude. Like, that's mm-hmm. fine. Go ahead, get married. Like, I don't right. care. That's my right. line, dude. You're not touching my kids. You're not touching mm-hmm. anyone else's kids. You're not going to descend. Like, I that I can't deal with that, bro. I'm not gonna ever be like that's okay, that's okay, like that's okay. Mm-hmm. Do, do you understand? Like, no, I agree. Me, for me, like, I was I, like, I, I gave a lot, dude. Like, I gave a lot on my end. I've always been like, no, that's cool. And everyone was like, oh, you know, they're using this uh, LGBT, you know, to open you up to touch your kids. And now it, they really have. It's LGBTP. And they're considering pedophiles as part of their group now, and pedophiles are like part of their group. I don't like that, dude. That's like, ridiculous. They, they better stand up, dude, or they're going to be the enemy too, man. It's not fair. It's not fair that they want to have it both ways, and now like we give them whatever they want. Like no one's against them. No one says stuff about them. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My, like everyone, pro- dude, everyone has my- slid their line. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has their line and stuff. My problem is, is like teaching it, teaching it in the schools. You know, I don't whatever. You're home. You know, you're a homo. You're a homo. Where, where I, it's not about your homosexuality or your heter- no. or your heterosexual. But stop promoting your sexuality to the kids. You know what I mean? It's like why put it in into the schools? You don't need to teach them that. I, the never, world is already gonna. I, I've never been against gay people to our homosexuality. Just like you, I know that. Right. It's not. A, it's. It's what they want to like okay like the marriage thing like i like personally you know for a long time i had my issue with it okay but then i realized well who cares it's my issue you know, exactly. understand what i'm saying and exactly. i i am willing to be like that's my issue and now looking back on it i don't care i could care less like i can't believe i ever even thought like that like oh it's 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 my, it's it has nothing to even do with me who cares? That's what I'm saying. Who I don't care either. Like marriage, dude, you can marry two ketchups together. You know what I'm saying? You can marry anything together. You know, it has nothing to do. Like that doesn't, shouldn't be my, my, my beef. And like now that I look back at it, I'm a fool for that. You know what I'm saying? To even like, but now it's like, okay, dude, like I've changed enough. Now I need you guys on the other end to be like, okay, dude, like we got to not be with these pederasses and we got to push back against them. You understand? Like we, there's got to be a point, dude, where it's stop. It's like okay, dude, enough is enough. Dude, that's a line in the sand. 
what would like for me like you know I, I try to love everyone like regardless I mean if you're gay you're gay right I mean I, I come out and say if it's like, somebody close to me I'm not gonna turn my back on it because whether well, my family member you want to be able to make fun of them you don't want exactly. them to be on a pedestal but not, cause but, they're like if I'm fat dude okay you're gonna get to make fun of me because I'm fat <laughs> if you're gay dude like it is a condition and you're saying you're born that way you have a condition I'm gonna make fun of you for your condition <laughs> And it's not because I hate you. It's because I like to make fun of people. <laughs> Continue. But yeah. So what I'm saying is like, I'm still going to love the person. I'm not going to turn my back on it because, Never. you know, Never. especially, especially for me, like, you know, you, I believe in God. And we, I believe in what I want to believe in. I believe in God and I believe it's not right. But that doesn't mean I'm going to stop loving you because that person is going to answer to God on their own time. You know what I mean? So who am I to sit here? Because sin is sin, right? So who am I to judge somebody on what, how they're going to be if I'm doing something stupid over here? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not my place to judge somebody because I always look back and I think to myself like, honestly, like what would God do? God would love the person still, but he would still tell you that what you're doing is wrong, right? Absolutely. Right? So, I mean, in me, it's like, you know, I love you, you know, and I'm going to care for you, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go buy you, you know, a brand new thong but so you I, can go around at the I, parade. I, but I even <laughs> said that I would w- be one of those people, dude. Like, if two gay people got married, I wouldn't go to their wedding. I go to their wedding now. I don't care. Do you know what I'm saying? For me, I don't care. If you guys want to be happy, go ahead. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me. My line in the sand, dude, is when they don't stand up for saying no dude Peter being a petter ass is wrong we don't want you to have anything to do with our community you understand and like yeah. now like they're pushing like in their slogan LGBT I mean LGBTP which is P wow. is for the petter you know what I'm saying like and then they're gonna wanna do it with animals and like there has to be a point dude where the gay people cut it off and say dude we're not with you we are against you Something there's got to be something because they you just understand? keep adding and they just keep adding a new letter every day. It seems like that's exactly right. <laughs> that's exactly right. Trent, dude, Trent, Trent, I've never had a problem with. That's never been my beef, dude. Some of my best friends in the world are like lady boys. I don't give a crap. It's never. Do you want to dress up like whatever you want? That doesn't even bother me like the littlest bit, you know. So if you want to, that's fine. But like, it gets to a point where it's like, dude, you better draw your line in the sand too, dude, or you guys are all going to be lumped together. You know, yeah. if you're and that's what's happening, and that's what's happening. They're taking that whole that whole slogan, the whole little right. thing, and they're looping it all together. That, and it's not. That's my line in the sand, dude. Is yeah. that they better put their foot in the sand and be like, no, we're not with you. Yeah. You know, and some of them better start becoming like, okay, dude, like we were wrong. Like we thought like this, dude. They tricked us. They bamboozled us. And, and it's not just with that issue, man. Like it started with like the abortion issue. Like everybody wanted a little bit of abortion. Okay, mm-hmm. fine, dude. You want to have an abortion your first month? Fine. You want mm-hmm. a woman's right to choose? I don't care, dude. It's not. My, I'm not a woman. You want your right, dude? That's a heavy burden to pay. Go ahead. Okay? Yeah. But now it's like they're literally like there's on record governors advocating to let the babies be born. Okay. They mm-hmm. can even resuscitate the baby, mm-hmm. and then make it comfortable and decide if they want to let the baby live or die. That's so freaking that's crazy, murder. man. That is straight murder, man. That's how, murder, how is that, dude. Like, how that's is what I'm that? saying, and that's where the, the line slides, dude. It's like, Oh, my okay. God. So, like, we give so much, we give so much, we give so much. Now we're, like, back into a corner, and, like, New York City is celebrating, and they turn on the pink light to celebrate uh-huh. the fact that you can birth your baby and abort it. That's the... <laughs> craziest thing man how can that even be right how can that even be someone in the right mind say yes let's pass that law let's let's be able to do that i i, I, I don't understand that I who in the right mind thinking is that's okay it's, it's for okay here, here and like for one culturally okay culturally right your mother or father never endorsed that kind of behavior Right. right. Culturally, my parents, my family, we never endorsed that kind of behavior. Ever. I don't know, mm-hmm. somehow culturally, dude, it slipped in with, like, through some cracks. And I'm not even sure where it came from. But, like, somehow through, like, this weird mentality, it's, and it, like, I don't know, I won't be able to understand it, and you'll never be able to understand, understand it, but it's a cultural thing. You know, mm-hmm. for, mm-hmm. for, for, even like I was telling you, like because that, that last podcast that we couldn't, it didn't like record right. I was right. telling you about 
that woman that I work out with at the gym, right, dude? She is white as the day is long, dude. Caucasian mm-hmm. woman, and no ever, no hate, but they don't want kids, dude. Caucasian people look at kids as a burden. Like, and like, <laughs> a lot of them look at kids as a burden, dude. Like, like, and it's not in every country. It's this weird look. look okay, like in the Middle East, right? They don't mm-hmm. abort their kids as much, dude. In Latin America, they don't abort their kids as much. No, that's why dad Mexicans have 10 million kids. Yes. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know. And somehow this weird mentality came in here where it's like, okay, dude, let's, it, it's okay. And I don't want to, like, sound like a horrible person, dude, but, like, <laughs> I just don't know where it comes from. Like, it's not everywhere in the world where this is happening, like at, at the rate it is here and where they're trying to slide it. And pretty soon they're going to want to be able to kill the kids when they're five years old. Be like, yeah, of course you should be able to kill your kid if you find out he has attention deficit disorder when he's five. Like, that's right. not, but like. And, that, and that's when you look at it, and that's what it is, right? When an abortion, you, you're going to wait that long, you know, you're going to have that baby, and then you choose to kill it because now you realize, you know, this is going to be a burden to me. So what, where is it going to stop? Where's their line? You know what I mean? And it's, it's so bad. Their, their line is ever sliding and pretty soon they're going to say well if you don't want your I'll tell you where it's going I'll, t- I'll tell you where it's going you want me to tell you here we're uh-huh. at 710 219 at 642 they're going to tell you pretty soon if you don't want your baby dude, they're going to take your baby and eat it you have no right that baby belongs to society so if, if they want to decide if they want to abort your baby or take your baby away from you they're going to be able to take your baby eat your baby pet harass your baby dude do whatever they want to because that ain't your baby and it ain't a baby and it ain't a person yeah that's exactly what they want to do man is that's they want exactly. to desensitize it to it's not a person wow so nobody is a human being dude. and they can take these beings that are born and sexualize them and do whatever they want to them dude the rich people can buy them it's going to be slavery dude, all over again all over again I, I can see it coming this world is so crazy man it's just getting worse and worse yeah, worse it's and worse, man. Yeah, it's, it's just, it, it's not, it definitely won't surprise me when it gets to that point, man. It's like o- almost now, it's like, you know, do you want do you want your daughters to have kids? Do you want them to grow up in this messed up world? Mm, yes, I do. You do? Yes, you do. This, this is what, this is my thought, okay? Uh-huh. Is I will instill in my daughters how to carry on my lineage. And she's like, you're going to instill in your sons to carry on your lineage mm-hmm. and our legacy okay mm-hmm. is going to outweigh eventually these guys are going to stop breeding you know, they don't want to breed they don't want to have children so that's the true people, the people like us should be having children that's true and, and that's the thing too my, I was talking to my mom the other day and she was saying how you know people in California they just give up right they just give up and be like we're like um uh, we're out of here. We can't change anything in California, so they move out of state. They move, you know what I mean. Instead of standing up and actually fighting, so here I go with my three kids, my three boys, and trying to teach them what's what's right. You know, have them think for themselves as well. But a lot of people are just giving up and walking away. Yeah, everybody's walking away. And instead of standing up and just fighting for what you want to believe in, you know, they're I, kind of just letting people take over. I I I walked away, dude. My family walked away. My sister. We all walked away. It's not even that we we were done fighting. I had plenty of fighting me. Mm-hmm. Okay, but at the same time, dude, being a farmer is more was more important to me personally, and not having to work for somebody. Right. Because I don't trust people. I don't trust bosses. I've had these horrible, and I don't like the public. <laughs> you know, I don't want to talk to people like all day long and like run businesses and deal with like extra paperwork in cities. I'd rather be out in the country. Like that's why I really left. But after the fire leaving Oregon, I, I will say, dude, leaving California was a little bit better for me. Oh yeah. But your mom doesn't. What, your mom doesn't feel like leaving for Nevada was a little bit better for her though. She likes it. I mean, she, yeah, it is much better for her. Um, yeah. Yeah, but Nevada is just getting it's just getting just as bad though too. It really is. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just getting just as bad. See, my my thought is, um, event. Okay, it can't, see, it's gonna work in a weird way in California because most of the illegals that I talk to are actually very conservative people. 
They are. They're, they're actually they're a lot not, better like they're that. Not, they're not like as liberal as Californians. No. So once they start voting, dude, it's over for most of these people, dude. The the the, 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 the Mexican community that comes from Mexico and those uh, the El Salvadorians, a lot of them vote very, very conservatively. They don't want abortion. They don't want certain things. They don't like socialism. They're running away from it. You know, especially like the people who come from Venezuela and yeah. Colombia. <laughs> the BET, the the uh, what's it, the the founder of BET, he even oh. said he's on Trump's side now. He even said he's on like, man, he's on that that the left went oh. way too far left now, I, man. <laughs> I, I watched a video today of all the black people that are for Donald Trump, all the brothers for Donald Trump. The, yeah, and it was like it was like Mike Tyson was on there, mm-hmm. P Diddy Combs was on there. Uh, there was, there was a lot of people, dude. I was like really surprised. Don't forget dude, the biggest was, one, Kanye, man. Kanye. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. You think he could? You think if the Rock uh, ran, he could win though? Oh, he could beat Trump. May I think so. You think the Rock could beat Trump? <laughs> I think he could, dude. <laughs> I, I hope so. I really think he could. <laughs> I mean, that's the only person I really like to beat Trump is like the Rock. Can you, I, ima- the can rock. you imagine? <laughs> First we yeah. had Trump be president. Now we're gonna have an actor, a wrestler, dude. <laughs> was it Ronald Reagan was an actor? Yeah, he was. He was. And Rock's a way better actor than Ronald. Oh, Reagan. big time, man! He's got so many movies. Oh man, <laughs> just thinking about it makes me want to watch a Rock movie. I have to watch the Rock be president for days. He be he be making movies as a president, dude. Fighting as a president now, dude. Can you imagine yeah, his yeah. movies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, him and Vin Diesel. <laughs> Yeah, dude, vice, uh, vice president again. Kevin Hart, no, Kevin Hart would be his vice president. Oh, yeah, Kevin Hart would be then Secretary of Defense, Vin Diesel. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh, that'd be hilarious. That'd be a great movie. Like, like Fast and the Furious 12, time to run this nation. That's all, I can't, I can't believe they keep making Fast and Furious movies. You know, John Cena's now going to be in it. Right, they, but you know, they, they every one they make does better than the next one. It's yeah, it's crazy. They people love him. People love him yeah, still. All, all, you go all over the world, dude, they sell out. You can't get tickets. I, I, the I one t- move, like like I was when I went to Thailand, dude. People would want to talk want to talk about Fast and Furious. Really, a lot of people. Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, it's popular. I mean, I, I even take the boys. I don't go to the movies much, but that's usually one of the. I usually go to superhero movies or like Fast and Furious movies. I'll watch them at the movie theater. Other than that, I really don't go to the movies movies. anymore. I used to, I used to love superhero movies, dude, until the superhero movies got hijacked with the political correctness. Hey, I just watch them on the Fire Stick now for free. I wait till they come out. That's the way to do it. Shout out Fire Stick. Yeah, that's the best way, man. Fire Stick is a good thing. It's a good. You don't watch wrestling though, huh? You gave up on the wrestling. I watch every day. Oh, do you? No, nah, no, nah, I don't say every day. I watch it Mondays. Are you, are, are you watching the new AEW? I mean, what is it? APW? AEW? AEW. AEW. I have not. All Elite Wrestling. I have not. I don't even know what channel it's on. But I, I'll record. Uh, I, I don't think it's on a channel. Uh, yeah, maybe it's not. You're probably watching do it. You on even, f- not, do you even need a channel for wrestling? If I was a wrestling promoter, I would. the last thing I would have is a channel. Dude, WWE is going to Fox now. Yeah, you don't need a channel. Dude. Why do you need it? Who? I watch. Do you turn on your television? I watch everything on the computer. No, I turn on. I like my television. I know. I'm sorry. (laughs) I do. (laughs) My TV's always on. Are you one of those dads? Are you one of those dads that like you turn on your TV and then tell your kids they're on the computer too much? No, no. Oh no. Because they they leave me alone. Perfect. So the computer's (laughs) like their dad. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Go talk to your other dad. Yeah. Computers raising my kids now, dude. (laughs) Do mine too. It's the best. Uh, it's horrible. It's it is horrible. very it's bad. Great. It's very bad. Uh, no, but I, I watch TV all the time, dude. Sarah and I, we go to sleep with the TV on. Oh, do you guys? Oh, yeah, dude. We'll fall asleep with the TV on. She likes to have noise. Like, she likes to have, like, I don't know, her brain constantly working. She likes to just have it. And then it'll, it'll shut off because I have the power saver on. So it'll shut off. And then, you know, we'll wake up in the middle of the night and we'll turn the TV on. And we'll go back to bed. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's crazy. I don't know why we do it, but I just got used to it. Yeah, dude. I, I, well, no, I, I, I don't watch any TV anymore. Not before bed, I can't. Not before I can't bed. Do that, dude. No. I'll watch. We start watching our shows that we record together, and then, uh, then we usually just fall asleep. So it takes us like three days to finish the show because we'll fall asleep. I'll watch like YouTube. I'll put YouTube on, but like I'll watch like a gardening show. 
you know, on yeah. the computer or on the phone, you know. So every once in a while, I guess I put it on the... There's a TV in my room, but I don't use it. You know, yeah, it's no, nice. we, it's always on. We only have, well, we have three boxes. Three boxes, a box in my bedroom, box downstairs, and I have a box. Wow, what's your cable bill? And I have a box outside. But that's not the night. We used to have like five, but I got rid of the boxes in the boys' room because they don't watch TV. Because they don't want to get... Right, because no. they're not all... The old. only thing Emilio watches on TV is baseball. Right. It's the only thing he watches. Everybody else, they always are on YouTube and watching something on Instagram Jim, or whatever. Jim doesn't watch Teletubbies? No. <laughs> 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 all he watches is car stuff now. Car, car, car shows, car this, car that, man, and that's it. And every once in a while, he'll... Uh, He'll uh, look at some kind of like fixer upper show with me or something. Yeah, man. I, I you know, which I like the what's that lady uh, who does it? Uh, Decide on a dime, or who's the one that I like? Oh, rehab, the rehab one. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, she's good, dude. Yeah, that's she a good. She keeps me entertained. I like the way her show is done. Yeah, no, that's a good one. How was uh, your workout today, man? I tell you what, the other day, remember I didn't work out all week, my chest has been on fire for three days and it felt great. And then yesterday I had to go into the bay, so I didn't work out in the morning, I worked out when I got back home. And it felt good, actually, it was weird. My body was not used to working out in the, you know, at three o'clock in the afternoon. I, I, I think when, when winter bulking comes, dude, I'll be able to hit 300 pounds lifting. I'll bench pressing. Bench pressing? Yeah, because right now, you know, I got 265 up six times, dude. That's good. That, for me, dude, my chest is my weakest uh, part of my body, I feel. Yeah. Like I told you before. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. That's good. I'm too, I, I remember at my strongest, I was like at three, 315, man, I used to do it. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I was happy with that, man. I haven't been able yeah, to, I haven't, you should. Be. Yeah, you should be. I was really happy with that. I haven't, I haven't been able to do that in a while, but like I said, I don't have a spotter, so I can never get try to max it out. See, the one I need to spot on is my shoulders, dude, because I'm going to mess up my neck. Yeah, it's, that's very easy to tweak your neck when you're trying to get that. <laughs> Stand, dude, standing. It like, really like, is. Like, some of those positions, like the the shoulders and the squat and the deadlift, if you don't do those right, dude, you're, you, you're in pain. The other stuff, dude, I can pretty much always get away with. But those three, dude, like, i got to focus on them. So, like, when I go, I try to do those first. Like, squats, I always try to do squats first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. it takes all my pre-workout focus and everything. To get I put, like, like... Well, that's the biggest this, That's the biggest lift for your legs, you know? You might as well get do that one. Because the rest of leg extensions and all that stuff, you can... I don't you can, know yeah. if it's... Yeah, you know, I... I is it legs? <laughs> or is it lower back? For what, like, is, it, is it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, squats. Squats? I mean, are you are you using that much? Because if it was like pure leg strength, dude, it should be no problem for me. You know, yeah. I think, you know, when I hit it, dude, it's like, it's not the legs for me that give out. It's my pop in the lower back, you know? It's that extra pop. Like, that's where I feel that, like, I'm getting my workout. Uh -huh. Like, you no, know, other people... They might feel it in their legs because their lower back is stronger or something. Yeah. But I don't know. For me, dude, like, I have to focus on, like, not messing up my lower back. Yeah. Well, you can feel it. You definitely feel the strain on it. But, yeah, I mean. Then, like, I, and putting the bar back. And then, like, a lot of the times, like, I step a good foot away from the machine when I squat. Uh-huh. I take a step back. Uh-huh. And by that last, you know, right, uh, like, today, like, last, no, excuse me. Last time I went, I was doing 325. That was yesterday. Mm -hmm. I did 325 on that. And putting your back is the hard part, dude, for me. Like yeah. Getting your back on the rack. It's awkward. It's always awkward. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's never as awkward to take it off as it is to put it back. Yeah, yeah. Because you're so you're exhausted by that time, and then you got to find that right that right spot to drop it. You know. Yeah. It is awkward. And did you hear uh, Lamar Odom got kicked out of the big three? drugs no i thought there was going to be something better better story but no just because he, he was embarrassed because he was out of shape a lot of, oh how could you be out of shape more than davis big oh davis. my gosh that dude <laughs> that looks like a walking house <laughs> he was so big i was like oh my gosh and i saw the, the video of him the other day i was like that guy i can't believe it he's so bad i said what right. happened to him <laughs> right. he just stopped caring 
<laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Right, but I was like, "Wow!" But I was like, "Oh man!" I thought when I saw that the the news heading on Lamar Odom, I was like, "Oh man, something juicy happened!" But now, just because he was out of shape, yeah, dude. The, oh, uh, man, everyone is like hating so bad, dude, on the Lakers. All I hear, dude, is people like just hating. Yeah, well, they they think that. They're making fun first. They're like, oh, well, you guys didn't get Leonard. You didn't get Leonard. It's like, dude, they still got AD. They still got a bunch of good players. They still got LeBron in his in his prime. I mean, I, I, I say right here, LeBron gets the MVP next year. I guarantee, oh, I don't want to say guarantee, but my prediction is that he gets the MVP dude, next year. I don't know. I, I, I watch basketball. A lot of people... They watch a lot of other sports. Like, you're into baseball, dude. Like, you keep your eye on it. I know, like, basketball is... Like, you watch it. You probably watch it more than 99% of the people, Mm -hmm. you know? But for some reason, basketball is... Like, especially these last five or six years, I've come to this realization, dude, that I just know... Like, I understand it, okay? Like, I just know what's going to happen. I don't know why, dude. Like, I knew Kawhi was going to win. I knew Kawhi was going to win the Raptors. I can't say I know all the trade stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. But LeBron James is going to ball this year. LeBron James at a point guard. Oh, my gosh, guard, yeah. It's going to be insane. It's going to be Magic Johnson. Has, and you know who said it best? Is, is Colin... Colin... Uh, uh, Howard. Coward. 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 Colin Coward. Yeah, Colin, Colin the Coward. Yeah. <laughs> he... Uh, dude, he said it the best, dude. LeBron, LeBron James is... He can change. Yeah. He can adapt. And he does. And, and he I, would. And he, he don't mind. And that's... And, I think him playing point guard, dude, if they could somehow figure out how to get Kuz, Davis, Boogie, all on the court with the same time being facilitated by LeBron. Oh, my gosh. It's a wrap. If, if you saw how, how well Kuz did with, yeah. you know, with Ball. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. And at minimum, at minimum, dude, LeBron's going to play as well as Ball, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, he'll facilitate as well as Ball. And then, like... Rondo coming off the bench. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, Rondo coming off the bench, he's not that old. Dude. No, Rondo's fine. I'm happy they picked Rondo back up, man. You know? Yeah. Rondo I'll... coming off the bench. I wouldn't be surprised if they got Carmelo Anthony, too. And they, their backups, their, their off the bench would be, you know, Rondo, Carmelo, um, uh, what's his name from uh, that dude who was on the Warriors. I mean, on the, uh, the, 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 the dude who was going to start with the Warriors, but he came cook. Cook, yeah, He's yeah, yeah, Clint Cook. yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised dude, if they had a, a, a nice little like second rotation. They got they got a bunch of little good young players. I mean, now I don't want to say young, but a lot of good veterans. And then what's the name? Jared Dudley, Green. you know, you know Green. Green. Yeah, and they got a good team, man. I don't see nobody beating them right now. Even the JaVale, Clippers. Javale McGee. Yeah, I like Javale, and I think Cousins. The has Clippers it. are gonna suck. The Clippers always suck. <laughs> dude, can you tell? Honestly, dude, I know I put this online. Can you tell me what a Clipper is? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell is a Clipper? No one even admits it. Steve Ballmer bought a team, but you can't even tell me what the lo- mascot is, dude. Did you hear that they? Uh, they they ban Leonard and and uh, Paul George from coffee shops in L.A. And people are like, this is still Lakers town, man. King, the L.A.s are still the king around here. They banned them from the coffee shops. <laughs> Which what? Uh, some some known coffee shops in L.A. If, if I was if I was like King Taco, I would ban them too. If I was like all those, I would, I would ban them, bro. <laughs> I would ban them from my dispensary if it was still down there. But like, no, y'all can't come. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because it's still it's still Laker town, man. You know, always. It's like, and yeah, who they're going to be? Well, in LA is a LA is like a rare city. There, that, like, it's a basketball town. I know, I know they got a football team there, but it ain't a football town. No, it's not. It's a Laker it, town, I mean, dude. Lakers, it, they're they they're run it. Absolutely. You know, they they run it. There is no if ands or buts about and that. The dude. closest, the, and the closest second is the Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, people love the Dodgers. You yeah, know. people love the Dodgers, man. They were called, uh, what's the place called? Uh, shoot, I forgot what it was. It was, I don't know, it was a well known one in LA. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Gabe's gonna, t- Gabe's gonna take out his crew, right? He's, cause since he's the executive producer, dude, he's gonna take out, take us out. Oh, yeah, to he the, should. To LA. I'll ask him, man. He'll drive, he'll definitely drive us. Now we turned. Now we turn it around. That like he, we work for him, you know. So he's got to pay us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> He's like, turn it around on him. Yeah. Make sure you tell Uncle Cyrus to send me the link. He asked me and told me like five times. I was like, yes, I'll tell him. <laughs> Make sure he yeah. gets it right. And he was upset yeah. with you. He's like, Dad, this cannot happen again. We cannot <laughs> lose two podcasts again. <laughs> I know, dude. Everybody, we're having a lot of technical difficulties. We're trying to put this on Spotify. So, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it'll be good, man. It'll be good. All right, buddy. All right, man. I think uh, we've said too much anyway. Yeah, we did. On to the next one. Yeah, we'll catch you guys soon. Later.